My buddy gave me his knife again to sharpen. I wanted to get some shots of this before I clean it up. Show you guys what this thing looks like. This is the condition it's given to me. And if you watch my channel regularly, you'll know or recognize this knife is one I convexed a few months ago. He's pretty much wore the edge down, so I'm just going to uh, gonna reapply a new edge. And as you can see, maybe through the gunk and the mess, there's actually quite a bit of damage to it. So I might make it a little thicker than I did last time. But yeah, I wanted to show you this before I get it all cleaned up. It's a mess. I didn't go too crazy cleaning this up. Just took a little lighter fluid to it. Scrubbed it down. Realized doing so, he's missing a screw from his pocket clip. And the two that are remaining were really loose. So I got those tightened up. And I seen that his pocket clip is torqued up. So I'm not sure how well these screws are going to hold up now. That's going to be a problem. Show you this edge. It's pretty jacked up. It's actually still sharp in a few spots. We're going to get this taken care of though. Grind all that damage out and get a fresh edge. So the stones I'm going to use tonight are the Imanishi 400, my Nubatama 1K, and my Nubatama 4K. I'm using the 400 because of how much damage is in the edge. I was thinking I might just get away with the 1K stone, but I don't want to spend all night. So I'm going to get aggressive with it, or fairly aggressive. If you guys have not seen my other videos on convex sharpening, I would encourage you to check them out. I go into more detail than what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to sharpen this knife and get it going. Let me find where the edge actually is. It's right there, which is about, I'd say it's probably about 20 degrees. So actually, I'm going to keep about that same angle. quite a bit of damage I got to grind out so Just about got it all ground out. I 
I have this stone soaking longer than what I normally would intend for it. I usually soak it for about 30 minutes, but checked it after 30 minutes and it didn't look like it was ready. So I just left it in there. It's been about an hour. So I've got almost all the damage cleaned up. So I'm going to go ahead and switch sides and grind from the other side to get the rest of that removed. And I got a pretty nasty burr built up, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut that off. Ordinarily with a full convex like this, I'll go ahead and thin the knife out. The first time I convex this, I thinned it out pretty well. Since there was so much damage to it, um, I don't think it needs to be any thinner than it is currently. So I'm not going to bother with that step. I'm just going to put, put a new edge on it. And I believe I've got all that damage removed. Might have just a little bit left in the base. The key here is not to lock your wrist, it's to let it let it be loose. If you rotate, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's also another reason why I'm going perpendicular to the stone, because Going perpendicular, the tendency to roll your wrist is greater. So I dropped the angle down just a little bit. Start giving that convex shape. I've completely ground out all the damage in the apex, so now I want to get that convex back. So I'm going about, I don't know, three or four degrees lower. So if I was at 20 degrees, I'm now around 17, 16 or 17. I'm just going to blend it in to that apex or blend it into that area I was just grinding because it's not really the apex
am pretty much done with this stone. My little sharpening notch is now obsolete. <laughs> I'm writing up above where that sharpening notch is located. I figured I'd bring you guys down real quick to show you what this thing's looking like now. So you can see where I've been grinding. Got all that damage removed. Now you may see burrs on here. I have not tried to remove any burrs. It looks like I got a little more on this side ground, but that's okay. I'm not worried about symmetry. Not yet. We are now transitioning over to the 1K stone from Nubatama. This is my absolute all-time favorite stone. It is the 1K extra hard formulation. On this stone, I am going to try to make the bevels look a little more even. Although it is convex, you know, it's not really going to matter. Aesthetically, anyway. You really won't be able to tell if one is larger than the other. But, because I'm grinding it and I can see the fresh scratches, I will try to make it even. Alright, now I'm going to raise my angle a little bit. We're going to start hitting that apex. Start kissing it.
final stone is my Nubatama 4K. Now these Nubatama stones are all in the Ume line. Should you be interested and wanting to know. I am going to generate some slurry on this one. This stone has a tendency to load up pretty badly. But if you generate a slurry, it helps prevent that. Of course, it'll help remove the scratches as well. But that's not really my goal for generating it. It's mainly just for helping to prevent load up. Starting really low, almost flat, just so I can start blending everything back in. Starting to get a really nice shine, so I'm going to start increasing my angle. Next time I sharpen this, I'm definitely going to have to increase that sharpening notch.
are just about finished. Final step is going to be stropping with white compound. I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but I don't like using black. Um, the black removes too much metal from the apex. Uh, therefore, say you've got a nice apex, you know, and you use the black compound, it's just going to make your apex, what little bit you have up there, is going to round it out and remove it. Where the white, it removes just, just a tiny, tiny amount. The black is just too aggressive in my opinion. It just eats away too much metal, makes the apex too thick, which in this scenario might not be a bad a bad thing considering, considering how my buddy uses his knife. That thicker apex might come in handy. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick with what I know. Right now, got the knife almost flat. It's not quite flat, but almost. it up just a tick and with convex edges I do strop more than I would on just a V a V edge stropping helps round it out and helps get that convex shape I've now raised it almost all the way I'm pretty much hitting the apex Dropping it back down. Should be good. I wonder why that felt funny. It's three pieces of paper. <laughs> Keep getting a snag right there. Thank you. 
don't feel anything on the edge right there, but it definitely wanted to snag a minute ago. See, there it goes again, this one to snag. I don't see anything on the edge. Maybe it's just the angle I'm holding as I cut, I'm not sure. shot of this guy Like I said, not perfect, but my buddy's going to use the shit out of this knife and abuse the shit out of this knife. So where it's at is plenty sharp. Let's see if we can get that convex to roll out for us. I made this pretty thick. Would have been nice to get it a lot thinner, but again, it's just going to get damaged. There it is, fellas. As always, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Y'all have a good one.